As you plan for a complex season with your professional sports team, whether it be football, baseball, basketball, hockey, et cetera, there's a lot of unique things you need to consider and probably a lot of versions you got to consider. What if attendance grows by 20%? What if we can't play 10 games? What if this or that, right? So adaptive planning can really help in that regard. As we look at this dashboard, we can see uh, we have models embedded here. We have the ability to measure everything uh, in real time from these models. Let's go ahead and uh, consider um, a couple things here. Let's look at our, our P&L, our income statement here, and understand some of the nuances. The first line here, line three, is our ticket revenue for all the home games. Um, with that, we have some drivers that affect concessions for food and beverage and merchandise along with our broadcast rights, any sponsorships, companies that can uh, rent or and or own those suites for the season. We also have a lot of costs to consider for both payroll for players and non-players. We have travel costs per diem and things like that. So as all, that all comes together, we can start to measure that with uh, you know financial metrics as well as capacity and um, different KPIs and statistics. Think about your hourly workforce to manage the home games at the stadiums and your meal expenses. So let's let's uh, do a what if where our season's going well and we're going to make the playoffs. So we want to uh, add some additional attendance and home games. So we can do that quite easily. And look at the dimensionality that we bring to the table. So I'm budgeting for ticketing for home games for the National League Division Series, which is a playoff type of uh, game. Uh, we expect sellouts, but we can do it by different types of games. So we understand our attendance and even opponents as we're playing a competitor that is nearby. We might get better attendance, things like that. In this case, we don't know who we're going to play. So I'm going to slip flip that to unknown. And we'll plan for September games. Maybe we're going to expect 165,000 fans through the three games that we're budgeting for. And obviously, this will increase our revenue, will affect our hourly workforce and things like that as we think about our plans here. Um, so as I make that change, I do want to highlight a couple other things here. Perhaps hourly workforce uh, needs to be adjusted based off of more attendance uh, or um, a sold out game. So we need more vendors. We can manage that by staffing these different areas, having some drivers for their base salary, and then plan how many individuals we need and or calculate that based off of our attendance figures. And then meal allowance, something similar here, is the ability to understand how many days we're traveling through a month, have some uh, assumptions for those costs for both player and uh, staff, and then drive that throughout the model and then get metrics like this of how much cost is coming in for those games. And as we reflect on that, we'll see our revenue go up and our profit from operations increases because of those additional home games as well as our cost. Um, so this is a quick overview of how Adaptive can centralize all your data and give you the ability to create different versions so you can really plan for your business through um, good times and bad.